So let's say it's the lens of the parabolas. So there's two things I can't imagine. We've got a parabola. Uh, here's some pictures here of parabolas. Obviously, a line could intersect it either twice, or at one point, or not at all. Now, if it was to intersect, intersect it twice, that means it's meeting it at two distinct points. So if we were to put the equations of them equal to each other or sub in, uh, solve them simultaneously, then b squared minus 4ac would tell you whether it meet at two points, because you would get it greater than zero, or if b squared minus 4ac gave you only one solution, it means it has to have already touched at one point, and obviously if b squared minus 4ac was less than zero, it means there's no solutions, no real roots anyway, which means the line can't be touched in the parabola, otherwise there would be a point that we can find. Example 1, intersection of lines and parabolas says, find the coordinates of the points with a line with equation 2x plus 1, intersects the curve with equation x squared minus 2. So we've got two lines with a y and a y, so we can just set them equal to each other, 2x plus 1 equals x squared minus 2, and solve that quadratic. So we've got x squared minus 2x, then minus 2, take away 1 is minus 3, equals 0. So taking everything up the same side. So now we check if it's factorizable. So x and x, 3 and 1, minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2, so therefore x equals minus 1 is one place it touches, and x equals 3 is the other place. Well, we'll want the coordinates also, we'll sub into y, so when x equals minus 1, y is minus 2 plus 1, which is minus 1, so the first point is minus 1 minus 1, or y equals when it's 3, 2 3s are 6, plus 1 is 7. 3, 7 is the other point of intersection. And the section of lines of parabolas, example 2, it says show that the line with equation y equals 5x minus 2 is a tangent to the parabola and find the point of contact. So if it's a tangent, it makes it at one point, and therefore b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. So let's just check the point of contact. We can say that 2x squared plus x is equal to 5x minus 2. So that gives me 2x squared Taking the 5x is minus 5x, so that's minus 4x. Minus 2 becomes plus 2. And now we check, is there a common factor? Well, there is. So I can take 2 out, x squared minus 2x plus 1. And then either to check if it's a, if, to check that it's a tangent, we can check b squared minus 4ac, or just factorize it and show it was only one root. Either of the options. But since we've defined the point of contact, we might as well just go ahead and do this, but just at the side, if I check b squared minus 4ac, you get, for the original equation, 2x squared minus 4x plus 2, so that's minus 4 squared, minus 4 times 2 times 2, that's 16, minus 16 equals 0, therefore, one point of contact. I would just do get the roots this way and go, you've got minus 1, minus 1. Since it's a repeated root, we can just then say that that implies tangent. Okay, and then we just solve it. So x minus 1 equals 0, so x equals 1. And then subbing that in to here, 5 minus 2 is 3 y equals 3, so the point is 1, 3. I want that there.